What's up dudes, Chooch back with another one. And today, we're gonna be checking this out right here. Tube protector, dented my rim on my Inmotion V12. Got a flat as well on it. So a good time to kind of put both of these in there and see if it works. Uh, what happened guys is, I literally just went down a, a little lip and hit a stair that was, um, I don't know, dude. the stair was really sharp. The edge of the stair was quite sharp and it cracked my rim. but I fixed it with JB Weld. Went in there and fixed it with JB Weld. And the only thing is, you see, the one problem is I didn't f sand it down. And so there's some sharp edges in there that JB Weld ended up, ended up creating. And that's what gave me the flat tire. Um, so I could either sand that down or either I could um, put those two protectors in there and see if that works out, which I think the two protectors are gonna be better. But you see that, I mean, it just essentially is like a sharp metal edge is what that created in there whenever it dried. So, but you see, that's what it looks like. I bent, I bent it all back out and repaired it with JB Weld. And it's, that stuff is really strong. But I would like a new rim. Um, honestly, I don't like riding it like this. So if the guys at in motion do see this video, um, I really would like for y'all to reach out and get a new rim sent over because I had a high, a high tire pressure and I'll even put in the video right now of what happened with it. Um, it sucks, dude. I don't, I really don't understand, like, I, it, this kind of shows, like that video really, right there kind of shows why you need suspension because like even little stuff like that, the suspension would activate and you wouldn't have a problem there. Um, with a smaller wheel like this, guys, just doing little tricks and little jumps and all that stuff where you're going up actual curbs and sharp edges unless you have an extremely high tire pressure be really careful with your sharp edges like concrete curbs and everything in the city with a smaller wheel like this for sure so let's see if it works out this is what this stuff looks like so see i think you just peel this off and so the jb weld that i used to fix my dented rim made that sharp abrasion right there and that's exactly what popped my tire literally that's it i see it now see that that's jb weld and that's exactly what did it so be careful if you do jb weld your rims back make sure you sand them down so this is the this is the area of jb welded right here what i'm doing is just sanding this all down might even need to file some of it down because it's quite jagged. I didn't do a very good job of getting that off of there. I'm flat protector. And I'm gonna tape it down right there and then just pull it kind of tight. Pull it around like this. Hmm. All right. So it came right around to here, and then now we could just clip this little area around the valve stem because it came right back perfectly to it. So I'll just clip off this little piece right here so it doesn't have any overhang. There we go. So that's what it looks like. And that tape really didn't do much. It's all kind of slippery in there. That's just kind of holding it in place until we get the tube on there, on the actual tube on there. But then we'll be good to go. So that'll offer some protection, guys, especially where I did this JB Weld job. Because there is some sharp little burrs and whatnot still there, which might still present a problem, but I think it's, I think it's good for now. See, this is an up close of what it looks like now with that in there. That's with the, the JB weld where I cracked the rim, me bending it back, sanding it down, repairing it, and then putting this tube protector over the top of it. Now, I think we'll be good. Should be going. We'll be good to go. Check out this. 
a little bit of soapy water when you're putting your tire back on helps with seating the bead correctly and helps everything go on easy. It even helps if you get a wobble in your tire, you can put take everything out, deflate it all, squirt a bunch of soapy water around it all, and then reinflate it and everything will pop out and squeeze into the right position instead of getting a little snag point or something on the rim, you know what I mean? So, soap and water goes a long way, guys. There we go, Jesus. Yeah, the larger the wheel, the easier it is to replace tires. That's true with dirt bikes and everything, guys. The smaller 16-inch wheels, even a pain on the little dirt bikes, guys. Those 12-inch little dirt bike wheels, yeah, dude, those are a struggle to change. All right, so that's on there. Definitely tape down that little band in there whenever you before you uh, put it on, because wrestling that tire on there. All right, so. Start with the valves inside, y'all know that. And now you need to make sure your tube is in here straight, guys. Make sure you're doing all of this precisely and make sure there's no wrinkles or crinkles in here. So that's that. Make sure this tube's in here flat all the way around. No hiccups, no snag points. And this is in there. This is on the inside of this and I taped it down to hold it in place. The tape's not a factor. It's just to hold it in place while I wrestled this wheel, <laughs> this tire on here. So this is all in here. It's all even. Make sure you tuck your tube down. Make sure your valve stem is facing backwards of the direction of travel. Like that. And now, this is a, um, a hack right here. So this is gonna make sure everything seats right and make sure you don't have a wobble in your tire anywhere. It's gonna make sure everything seats evenly. So just this is just um, dish soap and water. Spray it around like this, like that. Now, it'll slide on easy, but it's not, this dish soap's gonna come into effect whenever we pump it all up. This will also help right now, but it's gonna mainly help when we pump it all up. Harbor Freight products. Nice. Bent the table. Damn. All right, Harbor. <laughs> that, Har that Harbor Freight, yo. That's terrible, bro. <laughs> not good guys what is happening oh my god <laughs> this is gonna be my second harbor freight table destroyed by EUC work there you go So this stuff right here, it comes with the tube to put it in on the side. I know a lot of people know that, but some people don't, so. And then it also comes with this, guys. And all of it's pretty much the same stuff. Some of it says preventative, repair, all of it's the same crap. They just rename it, honestly. So 
it comes with this thing. This is what you're gonna want to undo your valve right here. Just go, see, it'll look like that. Pull it out like that, boom. And now it's just an open, open hole into your, the tube of your tire. Take this little tube right here. Don't buy the gallon jug of this slime stuff. I bought the gallon jug and the application, the pump system, it always um, gunks up. So just buy these bottles. These bottles are the way to go. They're not too expensive, and the small ones will fl fit in a backpack. For um, You can take on a ride and take a pump with you, and then you can, um, if you get a flat on your ride, apply more of this and then pump it, and then it'll hold during your ride. And it usually will repair it. If you add a little bit more and then pump it, it'll usually get you back home. But this stuff, you put this in before on all your wheels, guys. I'm telling you, it makes a big difference. This stuff is a game changer. I literally want to get it for my truck and put it, put it in my um, all four wheels of my truck, a lot of it. But I literally will probably put this whole bottle in there. And I, I got the gallon jug, and so what I do is I refill these. And I use these little bottles as that of pliers because the gallon jug is so bad. But put the whole bottle in there. Just like that. So this would be, what size is this? This is the eight ounce bottle. I use the whole eight ounce bottle in there. And keep, keep these bottles. Keep these bottles and then buy the gallon jug and refill them. And just screw it, just take this little cap and screw this little uh, core back in. And just, not too tight, just, just taunt. You're good to go. Now we're gonna fill this thing up, ready to roll. Before you fill it up though, do this. Before you fill it all the way back up, again with the soap and water, I use this a lot, soap and water. All the way around, like this, on both sides. And this is gonna make sure everything seats perfectly, evenly everywhere. So if you know if you have a wobble, it's the actual tire or it's the um, slime in there, which if it's sitting too long, slime will goop up, but you, the more you ride it, it, the wobble will go away. If you, if you use an air compressor that has a gauge on it, use another gauge to check your air pressure, guys. Because the air, the air gauge on the air compressors are garbage, or, or on mine at least. Yours might be better, but I can't trust mine, so. Check it. I'm running 45 PSI in my InMotion V12 now. And I got slime and a two protector in there, so. That's it, boom, done. Now I gotta put this thing back together. But, feels good, feels solid. Preventative maintenance like that dudes would go a long way, like straight up. If I would've done that and made sure I didn't have the JB Will, the burrs in there and all that, before I just threw it back together, I'd, it would've been way better. But, um, so if you do uh, repair your rim with JB Will, sand it down and put one of those liners in there and it'll save you from a flat later on. Always learning, dude. I would have, it had taken seven years to ever be in that situation exactly to where you get a flat from JB Weld having a little burr in there. So, anyways, dudes, it's been Chooch. If y'all enjoyed the video, throw it a thumbs up, and I'll see you, dudes, in the next one.